We are live from Fist Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Burns. Where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's plenty of smoke up here in the booth. We are in for a barn burner today. Oh, that's coming from the toilets in the men's room. They're on fire again. I'll tell you, this is not an aroma I'm fond of, Graham. Like limping a cheese fondue gone bad. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, with the punishing hit. Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. First and goal. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second down and four. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He's at the 40, and he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I like that stamina happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Chris. Very smart. Oh, what a brutal hit! <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah, Philadelphia, good movie! Yeah, and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Yeah. 
And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third and four. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and they pick up nine with that catch. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And that'll bring up second and one. You get void rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy, and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Defense called one speed. Man, that defender just... And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? <laughs> Under 
two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's in the 30, the 20, the 10. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Rick's match sculpting time. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. One speed engage. What are you trying to press your third bad base to bring it? They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and nine. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. Runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and six. 
A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments, Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. second half. Second down in inches. And that's how you run the football. First down. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in half. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and 10. Right Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a right rage for the money. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Touchdown! They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Graham. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down, and he often says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Lynn, what's the hurry-up offense? There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And defense calls its final timeout. Good! I gotta run to the John! That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesavers, dirty cone, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to... He turned into a mutant fireball 
with that flame on. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is too. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Third down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get... Yeah, for one game, they weren't the worst. The Cleveland Burns win. There's something to hang your hat on, Cleveland. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is.